Could you give us some of your thoughts on this move from analog to digital? I'm going to assume that some customers out there might not be 100% comfortable with that. So we discussed the, the factual benefits of having a DSP in the electronics of an Active Studio monitor already in great length in the KH150 video. Um, so we're going to skip that here for now. Um, I can just assure you that the R&D team was, was keen on making each part of the signal chain, now that it's digital, surpass their analog predecessors. So there was no shortcuts, no compromise, no, no nothing of that sort, uh, but we were trying to push the boundaries and we, we achieved that. They even found an amplifier layout um, that, is, uh, that we applied for, for a patent. Um, so it's really something significant that's bespoke to our digital platform. Yeah. Right. And in the end, I, I can safely say this is the best two-way, five and a quarter inch monitor that Neumann has ever done. And it's available to, to you. And I can say when I listen to, to the 120A and the 122 um, in an A-B situation, I was just amazed by how much more resolution and how much more visibility into the depth of the, of the audio I got mm -hmm. um, just based on this lower distortion and this linearized phase response. Yeah. So everybody should just look forward to listening to those speakers. Why does the KH120 2 have an MDF enclosure and not the aluminium that we saw with the KH120A? Cast aluminium was a great solution at its time, but the new concept with a wooden MDF frame and a molded Bevel and backplate made from polycarbonate composite is less resonant and performs even better. Mm. And by the way, it's also more energy efficient to build this enclosure than cast aluminium. Yeah. So why does the new KH122 not exactly have the same size as the older KH120A? Well, that's linked to the cabinet construction concept as well. We wanted to have the same internal volume for both speakers because of the higher required material thickness of the MDF in order to gain the properties that we need from the cabinet. The outside dimensions are slightly increased. Yeah. But still, when you look at them side by side, they don't look the same from the front. That's true, good observation. So what we did is we assessed the original KH120A waveguide and we tried to optimize it. And we succeeded in that. And that's why the waveguide shape is slightly different, optimized, more ideal mm -hmm. in the new speaker. And that also gives us a different transition from the waveguide to the rim of the woofer. And I think it really looks nice. 